everyone it's Amanda from Crystal Coaster Originals thank you so much for checking out my video so the painting you're going to see in the video today is one of my gradient circle Dutch pours and if you guys try this technique and if you post your painting on Instagram or Facebook or wherever please tag me in your post so that I can see your work I love seeing what you guys do and I'm so glad you're enjoying this gradient background Dutch pour technique if you tag me in your post this will help others learn the technique and it will also help me to continue to help and inspire others. Also, your weekly reminder that I will be teaching classes at the Fluid Art Boutique, and it's coming up so soon, you guys, only another couple of months. It is April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So if you guys are interested in joining us, check out fluidartboutique.com, and I will leave a link to that in the description box. Last announcement before we get into the painting, my survey is still up. The link for that is in the description box. Anyone who fills out the survey will get a 5% off discount code off of anything in my Etsy shop. It's a very short survey and it's just a way for me to get feedback from you guys on what you would like to see from me in the future. Okay, you guys, now that the announcements are done, let's talk about the painting you're gonna see in the video. It is this one right here, and again, it is one of my Gradient Circle Dutch Pours. Now, I will tell you guys, I did video me doing the ombre gradient in the center, as well as the white border. I did not video me doing the pink square in the middle. The reason is because I was in experimentation mode when I was doing this painting. I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I was working with layering, but it's a really easy effect to achieve. All it really involves is using tape to outline where you want to put the paint and then painting it. And I will be doing more of these in the future, so you guys be on the lookout for those. Also for this painting, besides white, the only other color I used was Bordeaux Red by Arteza, and I just changed the shade of it. I added white paint to the red paint in different amounts, and that's what allowed me to have the different shades. As usual, the colors and the formula for this painting will be listed in the description box, as well as the transparent base formula, so please don't forget to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.